All right, there's a new version with sound. Let's play this. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> See these horrors and do nothing. You have no idea what Whoa. it's like to be a coward. <laughs> all right, let's bring this all the way down. I like this a lot. This is definitely your best version. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. Let me just bring my video just a bit over to that's the frame that we have. I think this is all very cool. I like, I just like how you have just a slight look over there into this to look up into the breakdown there. I think that's great. I think there's a bit more we can do with the body. More about that later. Uh, this, I would just bring his, this is so picky, but bring his head more like that. Just a little bit over so we don't have a tangent. And what is over right there. You have no idea what it's like to be. If you want to have him in there, we'll be, I'm going to move like this. You will probably have a dart and dart down. No idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> Just a few more darts, a little bit of breathing. And then that's it. Like something super sim um, simple, something uh, simple. Since he's, you know, fully there, he's not fully over the shoulder and blurred out and dark. So a little bit more keep alive would be good. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> so if you look at him, it's overall, if you just look at how his demeanor is, head and body wise that's great see when I look at this it is a lot of women here and I think you can go and bring him just a bit further over and when he goes up he goes up into that just it's such a big head move and I look at this line here and it's just it's it's fairly let me just turn it on it's getting here it's pretty you know, it's pretty static and how nothing really is moving. See these horrors. Especially here. And then at the end, it's like the big collapse, but I'm seeing just everything in here. But if you look at this, like there's nothing in here. So I would I would play definitely with a little bit more tension in the shoulders. And it goes up here. It's a bit tighter. And then that exhale, shoulders drop to this. And he leaned forward, just the whole body was forward a bit. Not huge, you don't want his head to be, you know, from here to here, but just a bit more so that at the end, he will be probably more around here, this here and this over there. You have no idea what's... And then watch out at the end here. See these horrors. Just this. I like it, but it's there's a slight feeling of up. See these horrors. Horror. It's just a bit too arky. Now that's super subjective. I don't think I don't think it breaks the shot. I don't think it's a shot killer. It just ever so slightly for me, just a bit too over animated with that big broad arc. See these horrors. With with that jaw there, just ever so slightly. See these so it would be horrors, like horrors, and then down a bit less like that. Just a bit straight with a slight arc. I think it's just a bit too broad. A little bit, just a tiny bit question is though this is still in step mode and you're asking for some polished stuff um is, is that the style you want to go for a bit more steppy you know in twos type of things or you want to spline this out you have no idea what it's like because as of now i like that little head shake no idea what it's like to be a coward no idea what it's like to be a coward here you hear the sound and it says well, a coward it's a bit of an energy bump no idea what it's like to be a coward so in coward i would have that just that nose, if you track his nose, he goes over and that's it. We are a coward. I would have a little bit of a head accent. And then watch out. Here he moves over and then he just stops there. Just on that term, because it's kind of like, huh? Huh? We're going to over and back. It's a bit of overshooting back. See these horrors. Yeah, and then just that, just has that too much of a arc there's not too much time i was wondering if i watch this here i think since we don't have too much time and i love how he stares and then just kind of does this eyebrows first and break down i would try a version where here 
bringing these eyelids up higher so this one a little bit more and this one definitely more so it's a bit more open like this this seems you know more open than this one but really bring up the the white before he closes this so i will bring this guy just a bit higher and this one even more just like this moment of i'm, I'm just slightly missing all subjective but slightly missing that intense horror stare because he says that horse and he's almost too tired and slightly cross-eyed looking in different directions. So I would stabilize those eyes. I would even here widen those eyelids, the upper ones. And after this, really widen that just to see how that feels. And then you can go back into that plus the extra body animation. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to be a coward. And I think I put on scrubbing hair. It feels like coward. You could stay within this. It's almost like he's he's tense. He's embarrassed. He's just it's just there's so much uh, anguish here that it's like the shape would be this between these two, and not so wide. I know he has an exhale. Even here could be a bit closer but like to, be a coward. to me i feel like coward would have more tension so it's more between these two shapes versus this wide from here to here <laughs> and i hate to constantly tone things down but this into a close i think that this to out the corners is a bit too much He's really, like, it really looks like we want to emphasize the breathing. And I would tone this down by like 20%. See these holes. And there's a lot of movement through there with the closing, but I'm hearing. I can hear some breathing where I will keep the mouth open. Especially through here, especially would have some more open mouth, like the last <sighs> inhale to See these into this. Please. It's almost like he wants to say it. He wants to say it. Like the mouth opens a bit. He inhales. He has to let it out, and that's why he opens up here. These horrors. See these horrors. And I would wait with the corners into this by like two frames for polish that exhale would be a bit sharper so you would hold this a bit longer again like two or three frames and then close that the mouth shapes like the 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 extremes here just a bit like literally just a frame or two and I'm not sure you need to close the mouth here. Do nothing. Was the do is here. So here it's okay. But I think right there I would still keep that mouth open. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. You have no idea what it's like to be a coward. What it's like to be a coward. I think the opening of the eyes here is a bit fast right through there i would give this two more frames two or three more frames it's kind of like a little bit of a slower opening it just seems very active and um it's kind of almost too too clear-headed like to <laughs> i feel like this would be more like a slower opening a sad opening See these horrors and... Do nothing. yeah and that's that i think the bigger thing really would be on that head drop at the end too Bring him forward, lean forward a bit more. Maybe even like tilt the head down a bit more. But that's kind of that. Some broader notes and some polishy notes. All right? Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.